Yo, what is up, guys? My name is Nicholas Earl, and welcome back to another episode of Earl Sports Bets. And today we have five games in the NBA to go over uh, today. And then a uh, quick recap on yesterday: we went four and two, uh, with our losses being Charlotte and Toronto, and we got wins from Orlando minus five, Miami minus nine, the New York Knicks plus seven. Uh, they won it straight up, and I cashed on a plus 240 there. And at, uh, Indiana, plus 107, uh, we cashed on them as well. Uh, but let's look at today's slate here. We have five games here, starting at 735. We get the Brooklyn Nets taking on the Utah Jazz. It's a five-point spread, minus 195, run back to plus 170. Um and I just don't understand how the Jazz are this big of favorites to yes, I know KD is out, but they still got Kyrie, they still got Dinwid or no, they got Levert. They I mean they don't have no they have Joe Harris still. Um I'm gonna be taking Brooklyn plus five here. My model has uh, Utah winning by 0. 0.9 points, so we have four point one points of value on this line. Plus I just think this line's a little bit too big here uh for Utah. I think they're a good team, but I don't think they're five point better than the Brooklyn Nets tonight. Next, we have the Los Angeles Lakers taking on the Memphis Grizzlies. It is a nine-point spread, minus 450 for the Lakers, plus 360 for the Grizzlies. And this is another uh, game where the line, I think, is just too wide. And I, I feel like that's going to be a theme today, um, where this line is just way too wide. My model has Lakers winning by 4.9 points. And we're getting 4.1 points of value on Memphis plus nine here uh, against the Lakers tonight. Uh, two nights ago, they played each other and uh, they uh, Memphis was covering for most of the game until the very end. So uh, we're going to look to have Memphis here cover against the Los Angeles Lakers tonight in Memphis. Next, we have a 9.05 game between the Minnesota Timberwolves and the Denver Nuggets. It's a 10 and a half point spread. Minus 600 for the Nuggets, plus 460 for the Timberwolves. And I know I said that it's going to be a theme today that these lines are way too wide. This is probably one of my only exceptions. Uh, I don't think this line's wide enough. The Denver Nuggets, they blew out the Timberwolves two nights ago. And I think they're going to do it again tonight. My model has the Nuggets winning by 17.7 .7 points, which creates 7.2 points of value on this line, which is a two and a half unit play for me uh, being that large of a uh, difference. So we're going to be having the Denver Nuggets as our top play of the day here against the Minnesota Timberwolves at minus 10 and a half. Next, we have San Antonio heading to the Clippers. Uh, nine and a half points spread, minus 450 run back of plus 360. And once again, uh, this is another line where I think that it's way too wide. I think the Spurs are one of the most underrated teams on the market right now. They've covered a decent amount of spreads. They came a half point off of covering another spread a couple nights ago against the Lakers. And I think they're going to cover this 9.5 here against the Clippers. My model has the Clippers winning by 6.2 points. So only 3.3 .3 points of value on this line. But nevertheless, it is still some value. And I'm probably going to look to bet this line. Uh, with the Spurs tonight versus the Clippers. And finally, we have the Chicago Bulls heading to Portland to take on the Trailblazers. A nine and a half point spread, minus 435, plus 355 run back for the Bulls. And the Bulls just got destroyed the other night versus the Bucks. And I think this is a good bounce back spot for them to potentially cover that spread. We're going to be taking the Bulls plus nine and a half here. Um, they've been just scrappy and they've been keeping games close this year. So I can definitely see them keeping it down to the wire, keeping it within double digits. And uh, I think they can cover the nine and a half point spread. And I think there's going to be some very wide lines that are extremely off tonight. So uh, give me the Chicago Bulls plus nine and a half versus the Portland Trail Blazers. All right, let's quickly recap our plays for the day it is the Brooklyn Nets plus five, Memphis Grizzlies plus nine, Denver Nuggets at minus ten and a half. San Antonio Spurs at plus nine and a half, and as well plus nine and a half for the Chicago Bulls. 
that is going to just about do it for this video. If this information was helpful to you guys at all, feel free to hit that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe down below and turn on those post notifications so you guys are notified every single time we come out with a video here at Earl Sports Bet. Um, we have daily content on this channel and a wide range of sports from the NFL playoffs coming up this weekend. We are doing everyday content for college basketball right now. We are doing, uh, we have one more video for college football. Uh, college football. Um, sorry about that. My phone just rang. Uh, college football uh, with the championship game. We have UFC returning in just 11 days. Esports returning in a couple weeks. Uh, NBA, we're doing that every day right now. WNBA, NHL, and MLB. So we have our, so there's going to be plenty of content from this channel um, coming up. And, uh, be sure you're subscribed so you have post and notifications on so you guys are notified every single time we come out with the video here at Earl Sports Best. But that is going to do it for this video. I want to thank you guys for watching. Let's catch some tickets tonight, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.